If there was ever a man you wanted to just happen to be at crazy bad situations, it was John Effin McLean. This guy's like Batman, he has no jurisdiction. Like when the cops actually have to deal with something like president's daughter is being kidnapped, who they gotta call? They call John Effin McLean. Seriously, if there was a skyscraper that needs liberating, just drop John in and watch him go to work. I mean, he's been doing it for 20 years now. It's just what he does. Uh-oh, some foreign jack-off took everyone hostage and is now trying to get in the safe. Oh, how original. McLean will tear through every henchman, woman, and firefighter that gets in his way. He will beat their ass. Oh, <laughs> and don't drop a weapon for him. God help us all if you drop a weapon for him. Crap, you don't even need to drop a weapon. He'll just grab what's convenient and swing away. And it is done. Oh, and did I fail to mention a young Jodie Foster lookalike is your sidekick? That's right, that crazy bearded old man is never gonna lay a hand on what's inside that vault. The only kicker is that you only get one life per credit, and you only get four credits. So when two people are playing, you really don't want to die, unless you're playing Deep Scan. That's right, in order to earn extra credits in the arcade game, you have to sink 8-bit submarines with a boat probably driven by John Effin McLean. Oh, those subs are... Fuck. Oh yeah, we all love Die Hard Arcade, don't deny it. Whenever you visited your grandma and she took you to the theater with Die Hard Arcade, you made damn sure she gave you some quarters and you pumped them into Die Hard like John McClane pumped bad guys full of lead. But there's just one little, little thing that no one ever knew. None of us ever knew that Die Hard Arcade was a Super Mario Bros. 2 of beat-em-ups. You see, back in the land of the rising sun, Japan, this little slice of badass mofo heaven is called Dynamite Dika. Yeah, you heard me. Die Hard Arcade is just another game that's been reskinned and repackaged for another continent. Oh my gosh! That's why Bruce Willis' ugly face isn't in the game, and you're not fighting Hans, and you're not in Nakatomi Plaza. The game just isn't what you thought it was, and it's not what you remember. Everything you believed is a total sham. <laughs> ah, your childhood is ruined. Again. Bye, me.